Welcome back, I'm Sean and today we're checking out a comparison of two gaming headphones that are very similar in nature and I'm seeing a lot of hype especially on the basis model so which one should you get? Let's check it out. I got a feeling you mean it while you sat right now I got a feeling, got a feeling there's something about your eyes So I personally bought the Basus GH02 for review here and although the Edify is sent to me for review, this is not a sponsored post and my review will be based on my honest and unbiased opinion. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing and ring the notification bell so you won't miss any future tech reviews. And if you're interested in any of these headphones, definitely get them in the links below. So starting with the price, the Basus comes in at about 80 US dollars depending on when you purchase it. When I bought it, it was 306 Malaysia Ringgit and now it's going for 289 Malaysia Ringgit. So the Edifier G30S comes in at about 47 US dollars or about 219 Malaysia Ringgit. So price wise, at least for Malaysia Ringgit, these two headphones are pretty close to each other and also the functionality. So it's a good basis for comparison. So in terms of the design as well as the build quality, I'm going to start off by saying that the Basus is a much better design headphones with a more comfortable and premium materials all around. So the headphones is built with a very nice material with this fabric wrap uh, at key touch point areas which is great for our hot countries. Uh, but a word of warning here, if you buy this in white, these headphones will turn yellow really fast because of your skin oils and the hot nature of our country. So if you can buy the black model, the basis also comes with the memory foam uh, ear pads for the ear cups, uh, whereas the Edifier comes with just a simple foam pads only. So which makes the basis a lot more comfortable to wear. So this is a matter of preference, but the clamping force on the basis is a lot stronger than the Edifier, so you can stretch so you can't stretch it that, that much. Uh, but for me, I prefer a stronger clamping force because it makes it sit on your head uh, tighter and won't move around so easily. The Edifier is a lot more flexible and stretches more easily with a lighter clamping force. So it is more comfortable on your head without feeling that pressure. So it really depends on what you like. Another factor that makes the basis a lot more comfortable to wear is the rotating as well as the tilting ear cups that molds to the head better than the Edifier that doesn't rotate or tilt at all. So the next factor is not a big difference but the Edifier comes with a 9 click extension arm whereas the basis comes with an 8 click extension arm so it's just slightly shorter. So in terms of the ear cups, both of these headphones comes with LED and the Edifier has a nice edgy gaming look with the ring inside the ear cups something like a fighter jet engine glow and the basis has a cleaner modern ring design and it also glows very nicely so both are very nice designs so it depends if you like that ag gaming look or that nordic minimalist vibe so both of these headphones also have detachable boom mics uh, very easy to install and very flexible and they don't have the mute switch on them for convenient muting and instead you have to mute it on the headphones control itself. Both of these headphones also come with Type-C charging port as well as the 3.5mm auxiliary jack so you can connect them to your devices without using the battery. So one more factor to consider between these two headphones is the weight where the Basus is the much heavier unit coming in at 305 grams, whereas the Edifier only comes in at 236 gram, which is a 70 gram difference which is very noticeable. So both headphones here provide you with comprehensive controls including media controls, RGB controls, mute button for the mic as and also a volume control. So the main difference here is that the Edifier comes with a switch to toggle between the Bluetooth mode and 2.4 GHz dongle but the Basus comes with a button. The Basus also uses a scroll wheel to control the volume uh, and a button to control between the Bluetooth mode and 2.4 GHz dongle. And the bad news about having a wheel for volume control is that you don't get to track skipping with this. Also another thing I don't like about the mode switches for the basses is that they use prompts to indicate normal, music or gaming mode which users won't readily know what is the difference between the sound for the different modes uh, unless you look it up in the manual or look at the app. The battery life of the Basus comes in at about 40 hours when running in the Bluetooth mode and it's pretty similar in dongle mode. The Edifier has a 30 hours battery life instead, so there's quite a significant difference there. There isn't any rated battery life for the Basus with the LEDs on, but I'm not sure if it's like the Edifier where the battery life is slashed more than 50% when using it with the LED. 
PCs. Both of these headphones have very good volume when using it in dongle mode because the headphones volume and the PC volume is adjusted separately. So let's take a look at the Bluetooth volume instead. The Basus has a comfortable listening volume at about 30% and it starts to get loud at about 60% which is really good performance and anything above that is really loud. So the Edifier has a comfortable listening volume at 40% and it gets to that loud volume at about 80%. So there's quite a big difference there. So both of these headphones are good volume wise just that the Basus will give you a bigger range to adjust your volume especially when some songs are produced slightly softer. Features wise, both of these headphones here have modern specs relevant to the time they are launched and both comes with a Bluetooth 5.3 chipset where the Basus gets both the AAC and SPC codec treatment but the Edifier only gets the SPC codec. So both of these headphones don't come with any water resistant rating and in terms of the drivers, the Edifier only comes with a single 40mm dynamic driver which is responsible for both low and high frequencies whereas the Basus is a dual driver headphone which they call it Uniform Axis Dual Driver which means the driver are lined up one after another. It comes with a 40mm dynamic driver mainly to re responsible as the full range frequency as well as the low end and a smaller 10mm tweeter for the high red frequencies. Another feature that is missing with the Edify is the high res audio label and although you don't see it in the box of the Basus, you can see in their marketing material that they are actually certified with high res audio when you plugged it in, not wirelessly. So both of these headphones also have multi-point support when using the Bluetooth and dongle. Uh, you can swap easily between the devices but it takes about 2 seconds for the device to swap and you can still seamlessly switch between them easily. So let's talk a little bit about sound signature of these headphones starting with the Edifier where you will not be getting a lot of deep rumbling bass. It's there, it's subtle, mid bass is also nothing too exciting, mostly like hitting on a cardboard. Uh, the mids and highs is clear, accurate and not muffling which is nice and it is definitely the more prominent sound frequencies of this headphone. And talking about the basses just a little bit, the headphones have a very prominent sound signature where it's mimic the high res audio performance when using it plugged in. Uh, what that means is that the bass performance here with these headphones is also pretty flat and you're mostly not hearing a lot of sub bass or mid bass tones here. A little bit wasted in my opinion considering that it has a dedicated dual driver to support heavier bass. But the good news with that is that these headphones are really well tuned and to make up for that the basses has very wide dynamic range and although the bass is toned down significantly it means that it gives way to more clarity and resolution for other frequencies to shine. Vocal sounds great and highs are extra sparkly with these headphones regardless which EQ you choose and one thing I noticed is that when you use the headphones in gaming mode the EQ is totally changed and vocal sounds a little bit more recessed, highs gets a little bit muffled and don't be fooled because the gaming mode here in the app is solely for EQ and not for gaming latency mode. So if you want to enjoy music, just use it in music mode. So this is a test to see if the Basus GH02 is a good headphone for making phone calls. So this is me speaking in a relatively quiet environment and this is the call quality that you can expect. So what I'm going to do now is to turn on a similar background noise so you can hear a difference. So now there's a similar type of background noise playing in the background and this is the call quality that you can expect from these headphones. So, so this is a test to see if the Edify Hackety G30S is a good headphones for making phone calls. So this is me speaking in a relatively quiet environment and this is the call quality that you can expect. So what I'm going to do now is to turn on a similar to background noise so you can hear a difference. So now there is a simulated background noise playing in the background and this is the call quality that you can expect from these headphones. So what do you think of the call quality? Let me know in the comment section down below. When using the headphones in dongle mode, both comes really well with almost zero latency. When in Bluetooth mode, both of these headphones still performs really well and latency is minimal. The main benefit here with the Basus is that the 2.4GHz dongle can be separated into both a USB-A as well as a USB-C, meaning you can actually plug this into your phone to use it. I don't have the latest Type-C iPhones to test it out, but for Androids, this works with no problem. And as for the dongle on the Edifier, you're only getting USB Type-A, so not much aim for mobile gaming here. Anyways, let's take a look at the latency performance of these headphones in Bluetooth mode.
So which of these headphones do you like? Personally, I will gravitate to the Basus a little bit more. I think the execution, build quality, and sound quality fits my liking more as compared to the Edifier. So the Edifier is still a good gaming headphones, but now there is competition, and the competition is pretty fierce. So that is it for this comparison review. If you find this video helpful, smash the thumbs up button, share this video everywhere, and if you haven't yet subscribed, do consider subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video.